for a very good reason, Adobe Animate has a great deal to offer despite being very straightforward to use. It's streamlined and easy to navigate, especially if you've used other Adobe products before. Animate might be the program for you if you want to quickly create engaging animated content that you can upload to social streaming platforms in no time. But before you do that, you need to learn how to use it if you don't already, right? Well, you're in luck today because we've put together a list of tutorials that we believe will serve as a great start for your journey to learning animate. But wait, hold on a second. Are you interested in learning animation? Dynamic animation with 2D and 3D illustration might be just the course for you. Your instructors from Domestica are the creative directors and co-founders of Adventure Studio, Willie and Jill Russell. The studio collaborated with huge names like Google, Buck, and Imaginary Forces. You'll start this course by learning how to get inspired through exploring references, creating a concept for your story, and writing a visual script. After that, you'll take your visual script to the storyboard and start creating your scenes frame by frame in Photoshop. Next, you'll design your character and create your style frames. You'll decide which elements you would want to be 2D or 3D in your animation. Cause there is some modeling in this course inside Cinema 4D, using box and poly modeling techniques. After that, you'll jump to After Effects, build your 2D character and keyframe its movements throughout the sequence. You'll finish the course by compositing everything together and exporting your video to share it with the world. You can benefit from 10% off at checkout using our promo code. Links and code will be in the description box below. Even though Flash retired a while ago, its successor Adobe Animate still allows us to take advantage of all of the groundbreaking capabilities that made it so popular in the first place. After downloading and installing Adobe Animate, you'll be dropped straight into the staging area. The Animate Workplace provides you with a collection of connected panels, much like any other Adobe software. To the left are a variety of tools, the majority of which are simple to use and self-explanatory. You'll start by adding objects and people to the environment on the large white canvas in the center. And there's a timeline panel that allows you to monitor the progression of your animation over time. Seems like a lot to grasp already, right? Well, it's okay. The beginner's course from TipTut will help you not only understand how Animate works, but lay the core foundations of animation in general. Several animators find it quite challenging to create engaging animations right off the bat. Despite numerous attempts made to make animation more accessible through computer technology, you start by following the laws of physics. But what about more advanced principles like character appeal, emotion, anticipation, timing, and so on. Diving into these animation fundamentals is tricky because they're complex subjects that require time and effort to learn. However, in this tutorial, BAM Animation Channel animated this dancing cat. Along the way, he will demonstrate some core animation principles, such as eases, overshooting, squash and stretch, anticipation, and a plethora of conventional animation tips using Adobe Animate and other software. Things are about to get tense and, yeah, a little bit scary. The concept that you know as lip sync animation refers to synchronizing the mouth or lips of an interactive character singing or speaking. It takes a lot of drawings, decent design software, and in-depth technical understanding to apply any sounds to an animated figure. Lip sync is one of the most challenging topics in your animation journey and is regarded as the hardest skill to master. But wait, what if all of this was part of the machine's work? Wouldn't it be easier if the computer automatically generated lyrics and moved the lips accordingly? Well, it's the case in this video, believe it or not, where Chit Chad explains how to use a plugin from the Adobe Suite that automates the lip syncing process. Infographics are a fantastic method to convey important information. But what if I tell you that you could enhance your artwork with movement and interactivity to make that communication even more powerful? Wouldn't that be cool? In this tutorial, you'll figure out how to use Adobe Animate to add animation and interaction to your infographics. You'll also discover how to add motion path animation to clouds and looping rotation animation to windmills in your presentation. 
Additionally, you'll learn how to configure interactive buttons that open and close the graphics information. Yet another newbie and beginner-friendly Adobe Animate tutorial. In this video, you'll discover how to use fundamental Adobe Animate tools to create your first frame-by-frame -frame animation. The Inner Man Arts team will demonstrate how to add keyframes, apply onion skin, make objects move quickly, use the timeline, and much more. In this simple, short, and very informative lesson, you'll get to see Adobe Animate in action. You'll discover some amazing tips and tricks like tweening and asset warping, as well as powerful techniques such as rigging a character, using layer parenting, and learning how to make the Animate to After Effects workflow as efficient as possible. Since it's the core of the entire process, rigging is undoubtedly one of the most talked about subjects in animation. But at the same time, it's one of the most challenging aspects. It takes time and work. Every small mistake could ruin the overall smoothness of your character. Fortunately, Adobe Animate has a ton of helpful plugins that make rigging remarkably simple. This tutorial will focus on the most recent version of Electric Dog's Flash Power Tools plugin. Every minor detail matters when it comes to animation. Every detail can mean the difference between a stunning animation and one that hurts the eye. And there are essentially no shortcuts to achieving a seamless effect. If you rig a hand, you better give it the feel and look of a hand, not a stick. The same goes if you rig something like a rope. It has to give the impression of softness when moving. The Character Animation Fundamentals course is next up. Following along with it, you'll learn how to make some soft movements. You'll get hands-on experience with Adobe Animate's excellent bone type option in the properties panel. Choosing the soft bone option makes it simple to give the appearance and feel of a smoother and more organic look, which is very challenging to achieve. I can tell you that. First of all, it's tweening and it has nothing to do with twins. Okay, bad joke, I know. Second, it's a shortened word for in-betweening, as if that's going to make it simpler anyways. If you're wondering what on earth is this odd word, think of it as the process of generating images that go between keyframes or creating transitional frames between two photographs to give the impression that the transition from the first to the second image happens smoothly. Sounds complicated? Well, let's make it easier. Imagine you have two shots, A and B. You want to transition from A to B. However, the two images are captured in different frames, and the character you want to animate sits in a different pose in the two images, which makes the transition look sluggish. What would you do to make it smoother? Well, that's right. You tween it by inserting a frame between the two pictures, which acts as a bridge linking the two images and giving the animation the seamless effect it needs. Much better now, right? Well, don't get ahead of yourself yet. Tweening is a critical process in all types of animations. Think of it as the heart of animation. And you know what that means? It's tough. Very tough. Imagine yourself trying to identify specific objects in an image and define how they should move and change the whole time. Thinking about this alone might give you chills. And probably goosebumps too, if you're like me. Seriously. TipTut already knows the problem, and he provides the solution in this video. He explains tweening far beyond my shot A and B example. He elaborates on using symbols to make the workflow smoother and much more manageable. An interface as feature-rich as animates may require over a decade to learn. Relying on learning material like tutorials, classes, and other exercises will take novice users hundreds of hours to complete. If you don't have the time to accomplish this, Animate is probably not the right tool for you because you won't be able to use it to its fullest. And that's it for our video today. We hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.